because there is a clamor countrywide that the issues affecting the country must actually be discussed a round, on a round table conference and not out there in the streets. Let's begin by <clears throat> introducing ourselves to my right. We have uh, Aika Mizigi. She is the woman rep representative for Taita Taveta. Then we have uh, Honorable Ekomas Mwangi Mutuse. Next to me is Esther Okenyuri, Senator, nominated. To my left, Senator, thank you. And to my, begin by thanking the Azmio. This is exactly what you were saying from the word go, that the issues affecting the country will not be solved through street protests, but must be on a round table where affected persons, concerned persons, discuss, talk, and agree or disagree after talking on how to resolve the issues affecting us. Therefore, uh, it is the right time that the demonstrations have been called off and we continue to preach peace so that even if there are vigils and other prayers and whatever else is to take place, that must be conducted peacefully because Kenyans are actually uh, frowning upon what happened recently when the purported demonstrations were held. Uh, it is important that we embrace dialogue, and this is why the Kenya Kwanzaa side of the coalition has come this afternoon to make an announcement that we have always been ready, we have been more than ready to engage in talks. We were in the middle of those talks when the Fiasmio side pulled off the talks, suspended the talks, but it's fortunate that there has been no dissolution. There was only a suspension, and we are back. As you recall, on the 14th of July and on the 21st of July, uh, certain interest groups, including the NCCK and the SUPCAM, actually gave out press statements in which they urged, amongst other issues, that the bipartisan talks should resume. And to confirm this, yesterday afternoon, uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa side of the talks wrote to the NCCK and SUPCAM confirming support for their statements and also indicating that in the framework agreement that we agreed upon, there is a space for stakeholders and interested groups to come in and make presentations to this committee. Therefore, we have invited them to be ready so that when the, uh, when the talks resume, we are able to hear what they have to say. On that letter, we also copied it to the co-chairperson from the Azmio side, the Honorable Otiende Amolo. And we confirmed to him again, we are now uh, willing to re-engage. And we have invited him to come back with his team. Uh, Dr. Otiende Amolo will have to show leadership to that side so that he is able to call order upon them and bring them to the talking table. Because again, we repeat, we have always been ready we are still ready and willing to continue with the talks. So what we are calling upon them, especially is to proceed from where we stopped. The issue of IBC remains the most important issue on the agenda. The reconstitution, the selection panel, and the other issues that relate to IBC. So we wish to confirm that we are prepared for the renewed talks to re-engage, but again, we reiterate our position. All talks must be conducted within the parameters of the law. There is nothing extra judicial, extra juridical, extra legal that we are going to do because if there is need to amend any parts of the law, then it is for this committee to make recommendations so that we go to parliament where we can have the law amended. Until the law is amended, that remains to be the law, and it has to be observed by each and everyone. Therefore, as we conclude, we are calling upon the Azmio side of the talks to confirm two like us, they are ready for the talks, 
They have also to confirm when they are actually resuming, when they are coming to the round table, so that we can have the discussion. Those remarks, we thank you very much. If you recollect it very well, we had not vacated the issue on IBC. We had said it was to be agenda number one. It had not been discussed, and the selection panel was at liberty to proceed. Remember, we confirmed we were not directing them in any way. We were not giving any orders. We were not making directives or anything. It was for the selection panel to proceed. Uh, fortunately, we have had no developments from that angle, so we believe where we were that time is where we are today, and therefore we can actually rediscuss or reopen the matter if the other side is prepared to come to us. But we will have to confirm whether there has been any steps taken by the selection panel towards recruiting the commissioners. But in the meantime, again, we have said we are prepared to talk, and uh, for the sake of the country, it's important to reiterate that if they come in, we are able to take matters from where they will be. Fortunate that we have actually not, um, we have not given up on this, and we shouldn't. Remember, the talks have not been dissolved; they have only been suspended. And the party that suspended is the Azmio side. On our side, we have always been ready. It is important that from time to time, we actually remind them we are more than willing to re-engage. Remember we said that time, we would give them a reasonable time. It is that within the reasonable time, we are talking. It's the reasonable time we are calling upon them to say, please come back. Let us talk because the interests of the country are actually bigger than every single individual in the country. Uh, that is going to depend on our own judgment. Like, as we have said, we are within the reasonable time we are given to you. We do not know what the reasons were, and possibly the circumstances have changed. So they have to come to us to say whether the circumstances have changed or not changed. But what remains and what was on the table remains what it is. We are happy that possibly when they suspended, they were actually going back to the streets. But we are also saying we are happy they called off those uh, particular demonstrations to show that they must be prepared to give dialogue a chance. And this is why we are saying even the stakeholders, the churches, the soup camp, the law society, and everybody else has a place in the framework agreement that we agreed upon. That once the time comes, they will be with us to give whatever views they have, which views will be considered just like those of other Kenyans. Thank you. Kuja karibu. Kiswahili. Uh, ile tunasema tu kwa lugha ya Kiswahili ni kwamba tunakaribisha mapendekezo ya wanaharakati wengi ambao tumewaona wakizungumzia mambo ya kuketi pamoja na kuzungumza na tuachane na mambo ya maandamano. Tumeona makanisa waki uh, toa mwito wa watu kuketi na kuzungumza. Tumeona pia uh, wanaharakati mbalimbali subkem na wengine wamejitokeza wakisema basi imetosha uh, haina faida yoyote maandamano ni vizuri tuketi na tuzungumze kama viongozi tuweze kuelewana na kupeleka nchi yetu mbele. Ndio maana sisi kama uh, wana uh, team ya bipartisan ya Kenya kwanza tunasema bado tuko tayari kwa yale mazungumzo bado tuko tayari na tunawaambia wenzetu uh, pia wao waweze kufikiria kwamba Kenya ni kubwa kushinda kila mmoja na kushinda kila kitu uh, waweze kuja ili tuweze kuketi na tuendeleze yale mazungumzo kwa ajili ya kusuluhisha uh, changamoto ambazo zilizoko kuna mengi ambayo tulikuwa tumepangilia kuzungumzia bado tulikuwa hatujaanza kuyazungumzia kwa hivyo tunasema uh, leo tumekuja kuzungumza tu na kusema sisi kama wana Kenya kwanza bado tuko tayari sana kuweza kuketi na kuendelea na yale mazungumzo ambayo tulikuwa tumeanza asante
Swala la sahihi alikuwa moja ya maswala ambayo tulikuwa tunazungumzia. Kwa hivyo uh, hiyo ni yale yao wanafanya hatujui hayako hayaliko katika mazungumzo yetu. Kwa hivyo sisi uh, mambo ambayo tunaangazia ni yale ambayo tayari tulikuwa tumeshapanga kuyazungumzia. Ha, hiyo ya, ya sahihi bado haijatokezea kwa meza ya bipartisan katika mazungumzo yetu. Unfortunately, if you remember this is a parliamentary committee. It's actually parliamentary with a little bit of a marriage to uh, being extra parliamentary, but we got recognition from parliament itself. That is why parliament plays a pivotal role. Unless there is some law that is going to guide us on how to bring in members who are not parliamentarians, uh, we will have to take them in as stakeholders. And as stakeholders, they have almost equal rights as when they are members because they will make their presentations, which presentations will be considered. But for now, this is a parliamentary process which uh, falls under the laws establishing parliament and a committee like this one, who, uh, which is supposed to make a report to the House. The other committee, as we said, we have difficulties on to whom it's going to make a report and whether that report is going to be implemented by parliament. But again, we say, let's cross those bridges when we come to them. Thank you very much, good people. We have the letter. So that you have record. You don't say we didn't write, we've written, and there is a copy to give. Very good. Very hard to get it now.